With the Synology NAS, you can share storage with your friends, family, or colleagues quickly and easily, without exposing your personal files. In this video, we'll see how users and shared folders are managed to extend your private cloud. User accounts allow you to control which files and folders can be accessed by different people using the NAS. For example, if I want to let my friend Harrison access and contribute to my music collection, but I don't want Harrison to access my tax documents. Let's start by creating a user account for Harrison. Starting from the Disk Station Manager's control panel, I'll enter the User panel. Next, I'll make an account for Harrison and set a password. I have the option to lock the password to the one I choose, but I'll make it so he can change his password later. All accounts must be part of the user's group. I'll leave the group configuration like this since I don't want to give administrative control to Harrison. The default music folder is available to configure permissions. I'll go ahead and grant read-write permissions to it. The system will deny permission to the other folders by default, so I can just click Next. I'm not concerned about how much space Harrison's files will use, so I'll continue to the next page. I'll give Harrison access to Audio Station as well, so he can stream music from the collection directly in his web browser or mobile device. I'll also give permission to use various file access methods on the NAS, so he can add music to my collection or download some of my tracks. I'm not concerned about restricting the speed that Harrison uploads or downloads files at, so I'll continue and verify my configuration. Now that Harrison is set up to share music with me, I'm going to set up a new folder for my tax documents. I'll go back to the control panel list and enter the shared folder panel, then click create. I'll make a new folder called taxes and enable the recycle bin to help protect against accidental file deletions. I'll also restrict emptying the recycle bin to administrator accounts. Next, I'll switch to the file indexing tab to enable file indexing for faster search in file station. Pressing OK takes me to the permission screen. Here I can choose who has access to the folder. I only want my administrator user, Synology, to access this folder. I'll switch to the local groups menu to verify that no other access permissions are granted. Now that the folder is created, let's check FileStation while logged in under the Synology account. The new Taxes folder appears as expected. Let's see what happens when I log in as Harrison. Logging out of the DSM, then back in as Harrison, we see the music folder is accessible through FileStation, and the Taxes folder does not appear. Also, AudioStation is available for use and launches as expected, verifying the permissions are correct. If you'd like to learn more about groups, permissions, and the user home service, please check out our other video on user management for three or more users.